All right, so I'm making you a host again, Sandra. So, um, Rita and Monica, how has it been uh, keeping up with everybody since the pandemic started? Well, some of us in the uh, that are live in Omaha have kind of been doing social distance gatherings, but um, <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, it's it's been pretty much everybody staying to themselves, maybe with grandkids and children, but. Um, I just, I just want to say to the class of 70 that I don't know what's weirder, having a virtual reunion because of the pandemic or the fact that we've actually, it's been 50 years ago since we were in high school. That's, to me, the weirder part. <laughs> yeah, I remember when my father went to his 50th reunion at Creighton Prep and I thought, why even bother? How many people can still be alive? <laughs> So can you remind us again um, the the change of date for the class of 70 uh, get together? Yeah, it's uh, thank you for bringing that to the attention. Hopefully nobody's going to show up tonight uh, down at the Phoenix Food and Spirit at 120th and Blondo because that's when we were going to have our after party, which we put in our letter that went out a couple months ago. In fact, we had we put the letter out like two days before this all blew up. But um, yeah, it's August 22nd, six o'clock, Phoenix Food and Spirits. Hopefully things haven't gone awry again and that things are better so we can be in the party room. So right, thank you. So when I was getting on the Zoom call earlier, I heard a bit of an argument about a smoking room. Can somebody tell me what on earth you're talking about? I didn't know there was a smoking room. Monica, so kept, Monica or somebody said, well, you know, they, we were able to smoke when we were seniors and I'm like, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, Rainy Murray and Mary Sommer, uh, God rest their souls, they're not with us anymore. They were um, the instigators of that and wanted smoke break areas. And so they brought it to the student council and we approved it, uh, you know. So that back in those days, that's, uh, that's one of the things that was going on. <laughs> Sister well, Martin also smoked in the bathroom and just blew out the window. Smoke? Nobody ever caught him though. So, <laughs> who else might not be with us? Oh, Rita, you know that you got the list. What? List of we deceased. Gonna, we were going to read the list um, just at the end of this little chat about who's no longer with us. But um, if people are curious right now, do you think Rita, you'd be able to read the names now Please. of the deceased people from our class? Please. I'm, work, I'm working on that list right now. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So any of the sisters who are on the call, is that true? When did, did, uh, did the students get to smoke on campus? Did they have a special room? I know that at Creighton Prep, my dad said that the seniors got their own smoking room. I honestly don't remember that special room. I just, my job was to make sure it wasn't happening in the bathrooms. <laughs> well, sister, I hate to tell you this, but it was happening. <laughs> I know, I know. And it, it actually, it was worse in the later years, I think. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think it was pretty bad freshman year. Yeah. That second, across from the gym, that bathroom, that was pretty ugly in there sometimes. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, Monica, while, while Rita gets her, her list together, do you want to give me some of your favorite memories from the class of 70 at Notre Dame? Well, we, you know, we remember so many of the, of the teachers, including Sister Phyllis, aka Sister Margaret, uh, from back in the day, and Miss Sharp, and Miss Zager, and uh, there were so many of them, Mr. Galizia, uh, Mr. Hirsch, Mr. Hirsch, whoa, Mr. Hirsch. Yeah. there were a lot of them, and at the time, we Mr. Myers, to, yes, oh, yes, yeah. and, and, you know, in, in actuality, they were probably only five years at the most older than us, but at the time they seemed like really old people. <laughs> so you remember Mr. Bahonic? Oh yes, yeah, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. There okay. were the, then Sister Jeanette and Sister Mary Beth and and Miss Burgos and and oh and, and Miss Cassiopa. Can't forget her at, yeah. you know the drama teacher. So we had a good time with uh, a lot of a variety of teachers and also the one thing we and we talked about this earlier uh, last week with Molly we actually were one of the first classes to transition from um, I think it was Sister Pauline and Sister Louise to Mr. Um, Rouse. Rouse. 
yeah. Rouse was, we, we went to a lay person in charge of things. So that was kind wow. of interesting too. That was a change. Where did all these men come from? And he was our debate he was our debate coach. Oh, absolutely. I think, I, to to show. I think he became principal in, in our junior year. So I graduated in 69. I think he became principal in 68, if I remember correctly. Okay. Okay. So I tried to put a lot of the yearbook photos in the bulletin that we sent out, but I just wanted to share a couple of photos from class of 70 that didn't make it. So I think this is, can't quite read it. What is it? That's prom. Prom, prom. I figured it was prom. Yeah. I was looking prom, for a picture yeah. of Sister Phyllis, <laughs> aka Sister Margaret, in here to show, but I can't locate it right now. What was what what were you teaching at the time, Sister Margaret? English. 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 Well, this yearbook is the smallest yearbook of all of them, so there's not as <laughs> much going on in the class. And you guys had better things to do, I guess, than put together a yearbook. Molly, that was a time when they started transitioning the forms of of yearbooks and they some of them did four times a year and yeah. it, that was not as good as the hardback. Oh, I understand. I see. Yeah, because 1971 it went right back to hardback. Yeah. I was I curious did. about that. Okay, so Rita, do you have the list of, of I have a list. Okay, let's hear it. Monica, if I missed anybody, you're going to have to remind me because okay. I'm doing this like kind of, you know, if I was smart, I would have done mm -hmm. this earlier. Uh, Roseanne Elsasser, Mary Summer, Greeny Murray, Lori Spitson, Debbie Leach. Was it Debbie Leach? Yeah. yeah. Barb Beauchamp, Vicki Boyson, Barb Gavrexky, Amelia Hernandez, Kathy Roberts, and Shirley Geyer. So that's like 11, 11 from our class mm -hmm. who are deceased. So. Is there anybody missing, class of 70? Does that sound like the full list? Molly. Molly. Yes. yes? I, just, I just checked my list and they have it correct. There's 11 in 1990. Thank you, Sister Josita. And now we have proof that you can Zoom and we can hear you. So you have no excuses now. <laughs> Uh, if you could teach with that voice, you can Zoom with that voice, too. <laughs> um, so, uh, well, was, excuse me, uh, you all knew that Ms. Burgos passed away, right? You guys yes, that? just recently. Within mm -hmm. the last uh, six months or so, yeah. Y yes. So I was looking through the yearbook, and I was wondering if somebody from the class of 1970 can explain this picture to me. And why everybody's wearing a gas mask? Oh, my, my sister Madonna, who is a year behind me, would probably know more about that than I do. But she, uh, that was the beginning of Earth Day, uh, you might call them protests or marches. And in fact, I think she's in the front of that picture in one of those gas masks. But uh, that was, and it's been going on since, because this was the 50 year anniversary of uh, Earth Day also. Yeah. So we, we were in on that. <laughs> I was going to say, does anybody recognize anybody in this photo? But there's only one person who's not wearing a mask. <laughs> I think the very first person without a mask is uh, Lucy Logston in that picture. Okay. Yeah. Isn't, that Chris, isn't that Chris Kudlops? Where? Yeah. <laughs> in the plaid? Let's see. Show it again. I don't, I don't remember that picture. <laughs> You're on. Can you see yourself in that picture? Let nope. me, uh, okay, here we go. Do you see it? Right there. No. Middle? I think that might have been Cecily Hoffman, my sister was telling me. She was at the school a couple years, but I think that was her. Yeah. Greg's sister, huh? Yes. Sister Irene, sister Irene, did you have something you wanted to say? Yes. Yes. Um, I'm glad to see that Kathy oh. Nicholas is up here today. Well, I can drag this later on her article in the Omaha paper this morning. She had a commentary um, on the Midlands Voices. It was very well done. If you want to see it, it's on 5B. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Well done. Uh, the Holy Spirit actually wrote that article. I just wrote down the words. It came to me so fast. I was scrambling to write a little bit about it. 
I've been really involved in social justice ministry from disability perspective for the last many, many years. And so I just keep trying to bring to people's attention that not only do we have a disparity in other areas, but there's also a disparity in this in uh, people's acceptance of people with disabilities. And I have met so many wonderful people. So the article really is about my experience and what enrichment I have brought to my life by the people that I know. So um, it was, but the Holy Spirit wrote it. I just wrote down the words because it was coming to me so fast. But my, I was going to say before, my education at Notre Dame and St. Albert's really prepared me. So thank you, sisters. It prepared me in language and speech in in uh, English and not math, but other everything else. Uh, <laughs> it, it just I, I appreciate my education at St. Albert's and at Notre Dame so well. So thank you very much for doing that. Thank you, Kathy. So everybody can also read that um, on the Omaha.com. So feel free to go look at Kathy's article or opinion piece. It sounds it sounds great. Thank you for sharing that with us.